Hi guys, welcome to the very final of our series in which I've been trying to give you eight reasons for which you should vote in this election and for which reason that vote should be for Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. And while at that, let me thank you for the comments and the feedback that you've shared as we've gone through uh, this series. I want to wrap up this whole series by giving you a final set of reasons that I believe you should ensure that on the 7th of December, you vote for development, you vote for progress, you vote for the candidate who will actually ensure that the kind of development and growth that you are looking for around you, the kind of opportunity that you are looking for around you, you will find. And that candidate is Dr. Baumia. You see, if you compare the MPP to the NDC and you listen to the debate around town, there are those who want you to believe that in the last seven, eight years, nothing has happened that the economy has been worse off than at any other time. But if you look at the facts, you will find out that in the last eight years, some of the major development projects that we've all been looking forward to have occurred, despite all the difficulties around us. And that's one of the first clues which uh, helps you to understand that if you vote for the MPP, no matter the difficulties, we will do our best to ensure that the kind of development and growth you are looking for, the kind of opportunity you are looking for, you will find. And I want to draw your attention to a few things. You see, take roads. Sabri, I bet 12,000 kilometers of roads, 2017. problem But 12,000 kilometers of roads. I brought you around Muhammad Emil's buy. Mommy, I have 4,000 pet. I didn't hear. Scassam and Nanya, and this Cassama is in tier to me 12,000 kilometers. Oko flower pot interchange or a year frozen, palace more on Chenwa. Obi interchange, I am co forfeit. That's just one of about 12 interchanges that we are building across the country. Teshi, Obeche Bilamte, PTC, Takrade, and many other parts of the country. 12 at a go. The last time the NDC was in power, how many major such projects could they put together? Again, that's because the MPPs managed the economy better than the NDC did, and so we're able to find the resources to do this. This is the first time in the history of our country where we are building 111, at least, district and uh, specialist hospitals at the same time. No government in the history of this country has been able to do this. But some of them are being completed and hopefully will be commissioned before the election. You know, right now, the Commissioner General is around, he's commissioning uh, so many things. But it's the last time that the NDC came to power. Ask yourself, how many medical facilities did they put up? We've done 111, or we're doing 111 of these. We've already done over 47 uh, different types of facilities and we've uh, commissioned some of them. Take the Free Senior High School Program. 5.7 million young children have benefited from the free senior high school program. How did we do it? Because we've improved the economy and so we could afford it. Allowances that were cancelled by the previous administration for teachers and for nurses today, we are paying. Yes, sometimes there are delays, true, but we are paying. But that is better than a government that says, I won't pay, you can go to hell. Why are we able to do this? It's because we have managed the economy better. And then, and you know, you know, you know, you know, you you Beye in fear naya na ye ni kanea. And then kanea ne jinaso. I didn't say this kasem ye pejam. A hochra ba de by a pejam tini yetu mi yes any ma winya na wajuman. There are many other examples I could give you. In housing, where I'm minister, just a few days ago, we handed over one thousand homes at TDC. And we broke ground to build 800 more homes. Charlie, ask yourself, when was the last time in the Republic of Ghana that any government built a thousand homes that Ghanaians who are interested can come and buy or rent and live in? 
when? Which government? Oh, and by the way, before then, we handed over another thousand homes to the security persons. The last batch here in Tesano in Accra. And while we are doing this, we are doing another 534 homes at Community 22, NHF. And state housing alone has done about, at least about 800 homes since 2017. When was the last time? Health insurance is now paying faster than it was doing. And it's even including free dialysis care for persons who need it. And the health insurance, a cabi brane or wana e guno. A genan and also am a one poor more dialysis on health insurance each year from 1st of December. Because we've improved the economy, we've improved the finances, and so we are able to fund all of this. So is everything perfect in this country? No. But if you compare the record of the MPP to the record of the NDC, we have done a lot better. What we are doing is asking for your mandate so that in the next four years ahead of us, we can do a lot better than even what we have done. I'll see you at the polls on the 7th of December and together we can all jubilate Ghana's victory at the end of the election.